Take a breath of air in. It looks to me like because you've done this before, right? You know what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Take a breath of air in through your nose. Blow out the air. Good job. You're doing a really good job. Can you go, can you go back down? I'm going to guide you a little bit. You're working. You're so strong. So we're going to just do a little less. Blow out the air. That's it, Chris. Two, that's it. No more than that. Okay, got it out. Move your jaw. Look down with your eyes. Look down <coughs> towards your jaw forward and to the left. Hold it. Two, three, four, five. Relax your jaw. Relax the pelvis. Relax the head. Take a nice breath in through your nose. And that's, that <coughs> breath right there repositions his neck because of the orientation he put his head into with respect to the thorax. He moved his head to which direction, Matt? The left. Which means he just gave me right what? Trunk, Trunk rotation. Now, it's Chris, could you do me a favor and help me teach a little bit here? When you move your jaw, when you do this, don't talk to me. I want you to kind of hold it. So when you're pausing here a little bit, I want you to pay attention. I know your mandible is really going well to the left side. You did a great job with that. Jaw was forward, mandible was to the left side. Don't turn your head as much as you were. And as your jaw is going forward and to the left side and your eyes are looking down, okay, eyes are looking down at that point, I want you to pay attention to what you feel. And I want you to tell me which ischial seat is working more as you did that or after you did that, the left or the right. Because we're steering your body on this mat with a pterygoid. We're steering him. So the next breath he breathes in, his diaphragm should be really doing more on which side? The left side. So all I really want to know is when you moved your jaw to the left, did you feel your adductors and hamstrings work more on the left side or the right side? And be really honest if you can't feel it. You did a great job. Breathe in through your nose. First of all, go ahead and take a breath in. Do a little tilt. Blow out through your mouth. Good. Look down with your eyes. Jaw forward, and now go to the left. And then relax your jaw going forward, go to the left a little bit more. Really should feel that, right, Chris? Right there. Hold your breath, don't breathe, don't, I mean, just hold that breath. And feel what your body is feeling. Now, go ahead and relax everything, don't breathe in yet. Relax your pelvis, relax your neck, and take a deep breath in. And blow again. Could you feel your body turn at all with that? If you don't... Until I inhaled again, yes. And but, but when I did the jaw protrusion and all feel that, it. I felt a left pelvic shift. Okay. And then you took a breath of air in, and what and did I you feel? And I lost it. Okay. So I went right back into here. Did you hear that, guys? So when you breathe in, our goal is to try to keep that activity there as much as possible. So when he breathes in, we don't want to lose it, but he may have lost it. The fact that he lost it tells me that he was there when he repositioned. He still may be there now. Do you follow me? He's breathing differently, but he lost whatever he felt as he took that breath of air in. But he was in the position I wanted him in when he took the breath of air in. 